Esta es la segunda parte de la entrevista entre Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield y Tobey Maguire. Antes de empezar, no olvides que subimos video todos los días, así que suscríbete y activa la campanita para que no te pierdas ninguno. Y si ya la tienes activada, desactívala y vuelve a activar, porque a veces no funciona. Well, I was just waiting to see if Toby was going to do it and if Toby was going to do it. And I, I, I was like, well, I have no choice, you know, he I, I follow Toby to the, to the ends to the ends of the earth. Hace unos días le subimos la primera parte de esta entrevista que la puedes encontrar fácilmente en internet y las que están subtituladas realmente no tienen muy buena traducción. Es por eso que nos esforzamos por traerte esta segunda parte subtitulada de la mejor manera que nosotros pudimos. O bueno, al menos yo. No me quiero enrollar mucho más, así que los quiero dejar con esta segunda parte en donde Andrew Garfield junto con Tom y Toby dan su opinión acerca de esta película. Incluso Andrew Garfield llega a mencionar que no firmaría nada si Toby no lo hacía. Ahora sí, no me enrollo más y los dejo con la entrevista que amablemente subtitulé para ustedes. What about for you, Andrew? I thought, well, with Tick Tick Boom and with the eyes of Tammy Faye, uh, we've seen a lot of Andrew Garfield in fantastic performances this year alone. When I saw this movie, I wasn't expecting a third one that on that. And amazing uh, to see you back in in these uh, in this costume and and this franchise. Uh, So for you, what was what was it like going back? Well, I was just waiting to see if Toby was going to do it, and if Toby was going to do it, <laughs> and I, I I was like, well, I have no choice, you know. He, I, <laughs> I follow Toby to the, to the ends to the ends of the earth. No, I, but that was a sincerely a big part of it, you know. When when I was approached about it, and and again in a, in a similar way to what Toby was saying, it was like, oh, the intention feels very pure here. It actually feels like a great creative idea and a great creative story it wasn't like they were just asking us to come and say hi and then leave again but actually have us have our presence being in service to tom you know being in service to to, to tom's journey and and where where he is as peter parker and how i, I love the destiny feeling of um the multiverse expanding in this film and actually that without toby's peter and andrew's peter being present for Tom's Peter at this very moment, he may not become the Peter Parker that he's supposed to become. I love that there's... Recuerda que me puedes seguir en Twitch, me encuentras como Jaciel Palacio. And, 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 the, and that maybe he'll, he would have lost his girlfriend and that maybe he would have gone down a, a darker path if, if Toby hadn't have given, hadn't have given um, him that, that kind of mentorship moment, that better angel kind of moment. So it was those things. I get chills thinking about it even now. Um, so, so for me, it was like, and it's the same kind of um, judgment call with any script or any film. It's like, is this a story worth telling? And do I want to work with these people? And, and it was a big double kind of capitalized yes. And then it exceeded my expectations because the way that Tom and Zen Zendaya and Jacob are as a trio is just like a kind of magical heaven kind of friendship. And then so welcoming of me and Toby into the into the gang, and then the way that Tom works with John Watts and and Kevin and Amy, it's like it's very open, it's very free, and uh, so so Toby and I felt not only welcomed but actually given lots of permission to to play and to to kind of find find our way into being of service to to Tom's Tom's story in this way, and it was just a kind of joyful few weeks that we all got to spend together. Ojalá Electrolid me patrocinara. Tenemos un poco más de lo que dijo Toby Maguire acerca de la película. Toby, this feels like a culmination. In fact, I, I did a little interview with Amy Pascal and she described it that way. She said this movie is a culmination of 20 years, what began with you and your three and now going full circle here. Uh, is that the way you look at it too when you looked at this, that this is like the end of one thing? Well, I, I'll say I remember being on set and it was i believe our last day andrew and it was uh it was really amazing and i had i had the awareness of this you know the the 20 years of history but looking at um amy and kevin and realizing that they've been there through all the different iterations and it was really powerful just personally it was really powerful it was powerful for me to be working with Andrew and Tom and powerful in a, in a legitimately moving emotional way. And then to witness 
Amy and Kevin and consider their journeys through all the films. It was, it was really impactful. Um, and, and yeah, I was, I was, Just grateful every day. I really, it was such a rich experience. And y bueno amigos, esta fue la segunda parte de la entrevista. Ya saben que la entrevista completa dura 29 minutos. Hay ahí por algunos videos donde la subtitulan, pero en realidad está un poco raro. Así que nosotros quisimos subtitularla para ustedes. ¿Qué opinas de lo que dijo Andrew? La verdad es que es bastante interesante. Al igual que toda la entrevista completa. Así que si la quieres completa, déjamelo en los comentarios. Y un like para saber que pues quieres esa entrevista. Suscríbete. Sígueme en todas mis redes sociales Especialmente en Twitch Nos vemos en uno nuevo Y bye bye